We now go across to our two guests who are joining us here on the show, Sanket Hinagi, a Congress spokesperson and PKD Nambiar, supporter of the BJP. Uh, PKD Nambiar, the allegation that the Congress party has made specifically is that uh, this is uh, a move by the BJP itself to cause chaos because they know that there would have been opposition uh, to VD Savarkar's portrait being put up and this is to skirt uh, the issue of, uh, of discussing issues like corruption. Maha, firstly, I don't understand where is the question of having uh, some kind of a disruption or for uh, that matter to have some kind of an issue of putting up one of the greatest son of India, that is Veer Savarkar's painting in a, in, in a state assembly. In fact, his paintings are adorned even in our own parliament in 2003 when, uh, remember that when the uh, uh, great uh, prime minister of our country, uh, Adil Bihari Vajpayee was the prime minister, then it was installed uh, even in our, uh, our parliament. And in fact, remember that time, even Sonia Gandhi and her, her gang had gone and complained to the then uh, president, Abdul, APJ Abdul Kalam, to told him to distance itself from that, but he did not. So I think... We but are PKD Nambia, the question here is what the Congress is raising is that uh, since there is uh, some sort of controversy around his name, wouldn't it have been better to consult the opposition, to have a consultative pro uh, process and uh, uh, then have the portrait put up? <laughs> Absolutely no. Where is the controversy? The controversy and the doubt and these things is in the corrupt mind of Congress and the people who are against the VD Savarkar. All right. He let, is let, let Sanket uh, then second, respond to that. Respond and I'll come back to you. PK Dinambia. Foremost, I condemn whatever uh, my uh, co-panelist has said. There is no question. There is nothing to do with Veer Savarkar and Mahatma Gandhi's killing has nothing to do with anything. I think you better correct it before this end show gets over. Otherwise, I will file a a suit against you and i promise you this this is absolute this many courts including the apex court has multiple time has very very clearly articulated and said it and there is nowhere in, ever mentioned that veer savarkar has uh, anything to do with it veer savarkar is the true veer of this country you are talking about jawaharlal nehru i have the huge respect for jawaharlal nehru he was the first prime minister of our country do you wanted to know the history of the jawaharlal nehru's jail uh, jail time he was living in bungalows his jails were even having the comfort of the color of choice of the curtain for his bungalow where he was jailed. He was and given where is all this information coming from, PK Dinabiyar? That's a true, true history. You, why don't you look at the archive? You, you think the British would allow something like that when they were trying this to... This is funny. Yeah, this is funny. Rule over the country? Let, let hmm. me give you the proof for it, Maha, that you ask me for a proof, I will give you. I can give you the archives for it. I'm also a student of history. I've studied political science throughout my uh, my life. I can give you the proof. Even, even when his wife, Kamala Nehru, was even little unwell, he was even given uh, uh, the time to go out. So I think he was even given an option to choose the gardening. Uh, you think the, he shouldn't have been allowed on compassionate extra. grounds second, to second, step second, out? Second. That is exactly. You said it right now, Maha. Whereas in the case of the great Veer Savarkar, he was jailed in the Kala Pani, which is the most gruesome jail ever in the history of this human uh, civilization we may have ever heard of. And in such kind of a great leader, the people don't want it to... You are still afraid but, of the... But there are, there are a lot, lot of uh, conspiracy uh, theories that are floated around. There have been no consensus on this issue, that this would have been more controversial in nature. And therefore, the BJP has used it today, politically, PKD Nambia, that's the allegation, to divert attention from other important issues in Karnataka, a state that is going to the polls very soon and therefore that issue needs to be discussed, the issue of corruption. Was that the whole idea, PKD Nambia? Maha, it's a very, it's a basic common sense. The basic common sense is that if there is a painting of a great leader of our country, he has been placed in that. It's just an event of a half an hour, one hour or maybe a one day. No, no, that is not the question, PKD Nambia. No, the question no, is that the, was this a diversionary tactic? That is precisely, I'm saying the diversionary tactic is coming when the former chief minister Siddharamaiya and her uh, his gang is uh, uh, protesting outside and the uh, inside the assembly. If there is no protest, there is no... They, the, they no, are uh, saying that they were tactic. forced to protest. The no idea tactic, was to divert tactic. attention. No, no, the only thing, I'll, I'll give you a clear cut uh, this thing. Siddharamaya and his gang 
always believed and said that Tipu Sultan is a hero for them. The one who has butchered millions of Hindus, the one who has even demolished my own family temple, where I belong to the Malabar coast, where my own family temples have but been But would you deny that he fought in no, no, 1857? That uh, India was close to evicting the British out at that time, that he played a role there? Maha, Maha I think you should, uh, yes, you were not uh, interjecting the uh, Sanket. You should also give me that much of benefit. All right, go ahead. All, of, but all I'm saying is hmm. that when, for, the, for somebody like Siddharamaya and Congress, Tipu Sultan may be a hero. I'm not going to say that why you are using him as a hero. Maybe it, 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 that is the kind of thought process they believe in. That is the kind of politics they wanted to play. But for me and the millions of Indians, Veer Savarkar is a true hero, a true nationalist like many others. The one who had spent his uh, uh, the, all his good youthful time in the Kala Pani, the gruesome... Okay, so, so, so you are equating the two. No, no. You are equating the two, Sanket Yanagi. I, I now, on the other hand, the BJP believes that V.G. Sagavarkar's portrait be should be put up in the assembly. This was not used as a diversionary tactic. P.K.D. Nambiar and Sanket Yanagi, both of you, many thanks for joining us here on this discussion. We are taking a very quick break. We will be back with more. Stay with us.